Hey guys, so in this video we're just going to take a quick look at some tension examples. So first example here is pretty basic. Uh, we just want to calculate the tensile load or stress on a diameter 10 millimeter solid round bar subject to a 1000 Newton load. So first thing we just need our basic equation so stress equals F on A and then for this F equals 1000 and A is equal to pi D squared on 4 so we just sub this in and we get 1000 on pi times 0 0.01 squared since we've got 10 millimeter diameter on 4 and this gives us 12.73 megapascals so that's pretty basic stuff there um, just to calculate a stress using area and force. Um, we'd only really do this in design when we're just sort of checking um, a design later on to see if it fails anywhere. Uh, what you might more want to look at is a question like this where we want to calculate the required diameter of round mild steel section that is subject to a compressive load of 2500 newtons. So, what we do is we'll use stress, and this time we'll use a yield stress, so stress yield equals F on A. We know here that F equals 2500 newtons, and we can look up the yield stress. So these tables is something we'll provide you. So go across to materials. So we look up mild steel. We come across and we see that we have a yield stress of 270 megapascals. So just note that down. 270. Now we just need to solve for area so we get rearrange that and if we substitute pi d to the fourth on 4 in for area we get this which equals 2500 on 270 equals 9.26 and this gives us a d squared value just by moving our 4 and pi Sorry. should be d squared up on there so d squared value of 11.79 so just take the square root of that and we get D equal to 3.43 millimeters. So that would be our minimum allowable diameter. Uh, but what we should do is go to our table, solid sections, and we've listed here what diameters are commonly available for some solid round sections. And we see here the smallest is 4.76 millimeters so it's 4.76 millimeters so here we'll just say section to be used section 
size to be used is 4.76 millimeters in diameter. Okay, that's all we have to do for tension and compression. So, next example video will be on shear.